Hey guys, we got another Windows 8 video here uh, in my Windows 8 video series. So if you're wondering what the heck is going on with this Windows 8, what does it look like, how does it work, go ahead and subscribe. We'll be doing a lot of videos uh, with Windows 8. Uh, so in this video, I'll be showing multitasking in Windows 8. Uh, so you may be thinking, in this Metro UI, this is the Metro UI, the new Windows 8 experience, there's no taskbar. So how do you multitask? What if you were in Internet Explorer and then you wanted to go to News App. Do you have to, you know, keep going back to Metro UI and then hit it? Or is there an easy way to switch? Well, there is, and it's actually quite subtle. And uh, I found it actually by accident. If you hover your mouse all the way over to the left, it'll show the last app that you had open in a small little preview there. Uh, so if we click on that, it jumps right to it. If I hover over again, it shows Internet Explorer. So this is Internet Explorer here that I have open. If I hover over to the left, it jumps over to the News app. Over again, we're back in Internet Explorer. Um, now, if you hover over and keep it there and click and still keep it there, it'll show you even more stuff that you have open. So I have the desktop open, and I'm keeping it on the left. Click again, I have Weather. Click again, and I'm back in Internet Explorer. So it cycles through all of the applications that I have open. Now there's also a very nice uh, cool feature here, Snap. So basically, if I'm in an Internet Explorer, and let's make this more of a real life situation, I'm going to go to uh, Google Docs. And say I am writing something for a website, or I'm just writing an article, or a newspaper, or a news thing, I don't know, any kind of news source article, uh, or I'm writing an essay, whatever it may be, uh, I have my Google document here, or you may be uh, running uh, Microsoft Office for Windows 8 once it becomes available, uh, the Metro style. So you're running this here, and you all, you, you're in your news app now, and you find a really good article. So here is a very nice article, and you want to use it as a source for whatever you're writing. But but if you watched my uh, dual monitor video, you cannot view a Metro app and a Metro app on dual monitors. Uh, it just not does not work. Um, what you can do is, and because these are full screen, you can't kind of just like run them like a small version here and a small version here as you were, are used to it in desktop view. What you can do is a new feature called Snap. So if I hover over to the left and I see my uh, news app is that small preview showing that I just had it open. If I right click instead of left click, I can snap news or I can snap Internet Explorer. So let's snap news. And what this does is it puts a small preview of the news app and it will try its best to optimize it for that small view. So now the entire article runs down uh, perfectly optimized for this small little screen real estate that it receives. And then Internet Explorer functions perfectly fine over here. So I can use my source over here, scroll down, and use my source. And then I can drag this to change which app receives uh, most of the screen. So now Internet Explorer is over here and News is over here. Uh, this doesn't work as well because Internet Explorer uh, is having a hard time adjusting Google Docs to work in this small screen. Uh, but uh, this is a very nice feature for running two Metro apps side by side. Now it also works for desktop view. So I can snap my desktop and run an, a Metro app on the other side of the screen. Um, and then we could change it. Uh, the only way desktop works, however, in Snap is when it's running the larger view and then the Metro app is running the smaller view. Uh, so that's the only way you could get that to work. Um, if you give desktop the smaller view, it only views uh, these little thumbnails, but they're not usable at all. Uh, so you have to give Metro the smaller one uh, if you want to use desktop in Snap. But other than that, that is Snap, a very nice feature uh, to kind of fix the multitasking problem in Windows 8. For more Windows 8 videos, make sure you subscribe. If you like this one, give it a thumbs up. Uh, and also share it with your friends and your family and your dog. Uh, make sure everyone uh, sees the content. And also uh, check out my website, mikeben96.com. Links there for Google Plus and Twitter so you can uh, follow up on everything that I'm doing online. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.